will attack and you don't want that. You have plenty of storage space, Mr. Kwan. We know you could use the extra money. I'm not interested. You don't understand. I understand very well what you people sell. I don't want your drugs in my store. Mr. Kwan. Please leave. Hello? Hey, Kim. It's me, Jeff. Jeff? I'm not done talking to you. Get out of my store. Kim, what, what's going on? Do you think I came here to ask you a favor? You should be more respectful of our organization. Kim. You're going to work with us. You have no choice. See you later, old man. Getting worse and worse. I can't even talk to my own son. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. Mm, he took his mother's death pretty hard, Carl. Oh, Kim, we all did. But he's the only one walking around with a chip on his shoulder. You don't see Adam acting like that, do you? Adam is too young to remember Elaine. All I know is he's headed for some serious trouble. I'm thinking of enrolling him in a military school, one that specializes in discipline. Doesn't sound so special. Besides, we both remember our experiences in the military. Christ, Kim, it's not like I don't love him anymore. It's just I cannot handle him. There is another school he might try. Instead of discipline, it teaches self-discipline. It might help Jeff control his energy. It's called Kempo School. It's not one of those new hippie schools, is it? No, Carl. Old school, 2,000 years old. Jeff, this is Master Lo. <laughs> Pass it down. flow of action 
is the essence of Kempo. Developing inner strength, balance, and harmony as you learn. The master of Kempo is more than an expert in karate. He is a martial artist. He is the master of himself. Adam, I said let's go. It's not worth it. It's not worth it? What's that supposed to mean? It means you can kick your ass. <laughs> you can kick my ass. One foot. One foot, Erickson. Let's go. Oh, we're not done. I think we are. <laughs> well, I guess you'd just rather play with this pole then. <laughs> you little shit. for what you did. You tried to kill that kid. I didn't. By pure luck, you didn't. You had no goddamn idea what you were doing, did you? You're totally out of control, weren't you? I sent you to Kempo School to control your temper. And this is what you've learned? You haven't changed. The only thing that's different is now you're dangerous. I want you out of my house. What do you mean? Someday you're gonna kill somebody. I don't want Adam around to see it. I want you away from Adam. He got hurt today because he's trying to prove to you how tough he is. Because he wants to be like you. Well, he's not like you. And I don't want him to be like you. So you stay the hell away from him. But, Dad... I want you out of my house, and I want you away from Adam. Do you understand? Yeah. I'll just stay the hell away from everyone. You have learned only half of what I teach, Jeff. You're strong, you're quick, but you're only a tiger, not a dragon. The tiger does not think. Therefore, it cannot act. It can only react, respond. The tiger is strong and fearless, but it cannot initiate action. That is the difference between man and tiger. Tiger is what I know. 
the dragon is also very strong, but full of wisdom. The dragon fears what its strength can do. This is the tiger. This is the dragon. The dragon always has a choice. The tiger never. I have shown you the dragon, but you have not seen him. You will not find the dragon in any dojo. Experience will be your teacher. You must find him for yourself in your own way. And when you do... I know. Then I will have learned the dragon. Then you will be a man. Jeff. There's nothing here for me, Kim. There is more here for you than you can see right now. Don't you start to, okay? I know all about what I can't see and can't feel and can't learn. Jesus. I'm sorry. Hey, you're the last person I should be talking to like that. I'll miss you, Kim. Wherever you are, my heart will be with you. Of nice things here. Very old. Very beautiful. Cover the back. You're going to learn to work with us, old man. Right? Is there a problem here? Yeah. So... Kim? Better than they are. They could be worse. Hey, Terminator, I don't know where you came from, but you better go back. Those guys are golden fists. It's okay. Let's go. You're a dead man. Jimmy, this is my friend Jeff. Go get the wood from out back, please. What are golden fists, Kim? Soldiers for Korean Mafia. Oh, I never heard of them before. You have never been Korean. You know, Jeff, Koreans come to America because it is the greatest country. They work hard, save money, become citizens, open businesses like mine. But every ship brings brats along with regular cargo. Korean mafia comes to America too. Drugs, prostitution, parasites. I reject their drugs. So they come and smash things up. Maybe I should stick around a while, see if I can't change their minds, huh? No, I appreciate your offer. But you are an outsider. They would think I have hired you for protection. 
They think they're losing face. <sighs> Tomorrow, I'll go and talk to them, explain things. They'll understand. It'll be okay. Jeff, you look good. It is nice to see you again. It's been such a long time. I missed you. Kim, are you sure there's nothing I can do? No need to worry. Everything will be fine. Nothing's changed here. Except I'm now one of my antiques. <laughs> Tell me, Jeff, will you see your family? Don't get it on my account. Young Gung Ho. <laughs> Jimmy Ho. Look, uh, I'm gonna go see Uncle Sam. Are you gonna be all right? Yes, thank you. Jeff and I have lots to talk about. Okay, goodbye. Jimmy's a good boy. He helps out. I let him stay here when he needs a place. Does he remind you of anyone? Did I really have that much of an attitude? You mean you don't anymore? It's been a long day. I'll see you in the morning. And hey, why don't you get some rest? I think I'm gonna get cleaned up and maybe go for a walk. Good night, Jeff. Good night, Kim. Jeff. Yeah. It's never too late to come home.
everybody home, asshole. Except us. Just give me your money, sucker. You heard the man. I'm gonna cut you, motherfucker! Is this what you want? Huh? You want this? You want my money? You want to take it? Excuse me. Sorry, I don't know a thing. Please. Adam Sanders, Wilshire homicide. What do you have? Korean mafia all the way, typically clean hit. Unless forensics find something we got diddly. I'd like to work on the case. There's no case. No one down here talks to the cops. The victim was a friend of mine, a very close friend. I'd like to work on the case. Tell you what, you get my lieutenant's so okay, it's fine with me. I'll get it. Detective? Yeah. So, put me in? It's a signature execution. We've seen it before. It's always connected to the Hiropong network. Hiropong? Yeah, it's uh, methyl amphetamines. It's a bestseller for the Korean mafia. Huh. Who runs that stuff? <laughs> I'd be the chief of the DEA if I knew that one. I'll tell you this, though. Whoever this guy is, he's smart. I'll get you the records. Anything else? Yeah. Male Caucasian who found the body. Tell me again. Look, I told you four times already. You're going to tell me again and again. He was around here yesterday. Show him pictures if you think it'll do any good. Who knows? He might recognize someone. Anyway, he's all you got, Sanders. What? Jeff? Adam. Oh, my God. I know this seems like a waste of time, but uh, you never know. Other things, you know, might turn something up. Last one. Yeah. So where are you going? I thought uh, we might go see Dad. I've got some things to take care of. What things? Don't ask. Jeff, just hold on a minute. Look, just stay out of it, kid. It's for your own good. Jeff, what? Kim was family to me, too, all right? You cannot handle this by yourself. And what's more, if you try to not care if you're my brother or not, I'm going to come down on you like a ton of bricks. Okay. Send my regards to Pop. Looking for I someone. can't help you. you. Know anybody who can? Guess not. For a guy, he's good in taekwondo, about 5'8", 150 pounds. Got a tattoo of a spider right here. You know him? Yeah. Great. I need to talk to him. Where is he? Why don't you go home before you get hurt? I wonder if I can kick your ass. No. Not just you. All three of you. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you? I take on all three of you, you point me in the right direction. Deal? Full contact. No protection. No problem.
This is my dance. Yeah! Come on, white boy. Let's see what you got. Club. He hangs out there. They all do. Thanks. You said it never hurt to ask. Hello. Yeah. I'm Detective Sanders. I'd like to ask you some questions. Please. Yeah. Kim, he has a store across the street. Kim. Yes. I'm investigating his. Kim Chi. No. Yeah. No. Uh, Mr. Kim. I'm investigating his murder. Murder. Yes. I'd like. Murder. Thank you for your time. Keep change. Yes. Have a nice day. Just a four square block radius around uh, Kim's store. No one's saying anything. Uh, I wish to God I were back on the street, I could help you. You've got everything you need, you just get these bastards. Don't worry, Dad. We'll get them.
What happened to you? Rough night. Whoa, Jeff. Whoa. Not gonna go anywhere until you tell me about the kid. The kid, Jeff. The one you left out of your statement. The one that was living in Kim's apartment. We got his clothes. We got prints all over the place. We got no idea. Now, you're gonna tell me who he is. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Hey, kid! It was him, wasn't it? Great, Jeff. Thanks a lot, bro. You just scared off the one lead I had. The one lead I had. Come on. That kid's from the street. He's never gonna talk to a cop, I know. You know shit, Jeff. You know what you're doing? You're helping those bastards get away. Why don't you just go play with your badge? Go do your little police academy bullshit. You know what? Kim wouldn't even be dead if you were back in town. Do you know that? You're the one that killed him, Jeff! This is your goddamn... Fu you gonna shoot me at him? Huh? Somewhere before. You don't belong here.
Jim was a good man. He was a friend of mine, a very good friend. We spent many happy moments here in Koreatown. I want to help. What can you do? I have some information. But not here. It's not safe. Please. It is important. We can talk privately in here. Come. I was going to see Kim on the day he died. We had a meeting. I, I could have made things right for him, except that I waited too long. And now, my friend is dead. And I did nothing to help him. <sighs> the man who murdered Kim must be punished. And the punishment must fit the crime. Tell me what you know. There are four Oyabuns in Koreatown. Mafia leaders. Any one of the three could have done it. Ye Mei, Otoko, Wo Sam. What about the fourth? The fourth Oyabun is Jung. Well, how do you know Jung didn't do it? Because I am Jung. And yet I can do nothing. Nothing. If the other Oyabuns learn that I am seeking vengeance for my friend's death, they would turn against me. There would be total war in Koreatown. Much blood would be shed. <sighs> Too much blood. There is only one person who can bring about justice without total war. And that is an outsider. Will you do this thing? You just point the way. There's a man named Kai. He's a soldier for hire. My people have heard him talking. I'm sure he knows the man who ordered Kim's death. Where is this guy? We will find him. The man on the right, that's Kai. Kim's death. Say it. Wu Sam. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's too dangerous. Wu Sam is very heavily protected. Besides, you don't know him. Wu Sam is an animal. He'll hey. be in. We had an agreement. Sam lives in the Kokuma Hotel. He owns it. Everyone there works for him. The whole top floor is his. The only way into the top floor is by private elevator. From the garage to, to the penthouse. Be careful. There are guards at the gate in the basement. 
at the top. <laughs> He's surrounded at all times. Lee? You okay? Kill me, but I will not die staying alive. Well, then you'll just die. Leave him alone! Stay away! No! Let him go! What are you doing? He killed Kim. No way! Sam was Kim's friend. It's like my uncle. Sam's been protecting me from Young. Young? That's who killed Kim. Chaka, chaka! Who lied to you? Young. A man tells you something, and you invade my home. Try and take my life in front of the eyes of my children. He fingered a soldier named Kai. Kai said you did it. Kai works for Young. Is that right? Why should I believe you more than Young? Everybody in Koreatown knows Young killed Kim, dick. Tracy. Think. Young wants me dead. But he knows that would start a war that would destroy even him. So he sends an outsider, an outsider who would do anything to avenge a friend. He can never be blamed. No evidence, no proof. Just some crazy stranger. The perfect weapon. What will you do now if I let you go? Young and I have some unfinished business. And I will finish it. I'm going with you. Forget it. No way, you're gonna need my help. You're just a kid. Who knows how to find Young? No deal. Excuse me. You must find Young before he can leave for Korea. Take the boy. He can help you find him. 
You came to take my life. You leave with my blessing and one of my people. Strange deal. So how many people have they killed? None, kid. <laughs> Come on, we're working together, you can tell me. Is that what you're looking forward to? Killing someone? Aren't you? I mean, assuming we catch this guy, what choice do we have? Only one. <laughs> you're lucky. You're lucky, Sam, let me help you. I'm his fastest runner. I'm the fastest runner inside the Pacific Rim. I know, I've seen you run. Hey, how come you took off from the funeral like that instead of helping me then? I wasn't running from you, Brainiac. I was running from Young. He saw me. Look, Sam's tough enough, but Young. He's heavy duty. Yakuza connections, drugs and protection only. He's Koreatown's hero pong hero. The mystery man. Nobody even knows where he lives. The only place for sure where I know he goes every day is his bank. It's good enough for me. Yeah, but you're not good enough for Tanaka. Young's bodyguard. Young doesn't go anywhere without him. Guy's built like goddamn Godzilla, and nobody gets their young when Tanaka's around. That's for shit, sure. Hey, don't swear, kid. What are you, my mother? Hey, where is your mother? Hey, uh, if we get split up, we'll meet back at the hotel, okay? Yeah, but you still didn't answer my question. She's dead, all right? How old were you when she died? None of your business. Oh, Kim was right. You do remind me of someone. I lost my mom when I was 10. So we do have something in common. Around I? Hey, the bank's not open yet, Sherlock. Mind telling me where we're going? To talk to someone. Who? A cop. What? Relax. It's my brother. I want you to talk to him. Hey. I'm not talking to no cop. I want you to tell him you saw Tanaka. But I didn't. But see, he doesn't know that. Look, I want you to tell him you saw Tanaka kill Kim, OK? And he's going to ask if you'll testify to that. And I want you to say yes. You're dumber than you look. I'm not going to go to no court and talk to no cop. No way. That wasn't part of the deal. You can drop me off right here. Would you just listen to me for a minute? If we tell my brother you saw Tanaka, then he'll arrest him at the bank before anyone knows what's happening. So what? So that puts Young in the back of the limousine. Alone. Oh. Maybe you're not as dumb as you look. Position in the bank parking lot. You guys stay put until the suspect's inside the bank. Stay lively, guys. You copy? Uh, that's a copy, 1830. Jeff? Yeah? You know when you wanted to do this alone? By yourself? I mean, just go find that bastard who killed Kim. Just blow him away. I wanted to do the same thing. I know what you're feeling. And I'm really glad that we're doing this together. I mean, I never thought it'd turn out like this. That's good. Tim brains there he is. Target on scene. He's not stopping at the parking lot. He's headed for the drive-thru teller. This is going down wrong. I'm going to pull alongside, take a look. All right, Jimmy, I want you to do exactly what I tell you. You stay down there until his window's open, because I don't want him seeing you before you can ID him. 
Don't worry about it. He won't see me. Are we there yet? Oh. We're gonna lose him. Are we there now? No, we're definitely not there now. Come on, lady, move it! Okay, Jimmy. Electricity. Get to your knees, let me see your hands. I'm gonna light you up. Adam!
You're all right. Of course I am. All right, have the paramedics take a look at this guy before I transport him out of here, and I'll hook up with you later at the station. Look, I need to tell you something. Did it, bro. We got him. I heard you did a nice job back there. No gutsy. You would've done the same thing, Taylor. I don't know. How long have you been on the job? Uh, five and a half months. <laughs> don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> messed up. He helped me out. I didn't come through. I didn't help you, Adam. Jimmy didn't see Tanaka do anything. I lied. I didn't know what Tanaka was. Except that he was muscle for the guy that killed Kim. Young. He gave the order. That was Young's limousine. He was supposed to be in the back. I used you to get to Young. I didn't want anything to happen to you, Adam. I just wanted Young so bad. I wasn't thinking. Christ, Adam, we're family. Yeah, we are. It's okay. So what about Young? Jeff, you kill Young, you throw away your whole life. And Jimmy's. He looks up to you. Yeah, I know. Gil was trying to help him out. And do you really think Gil would want you to do this? There's only one line between us and them. And once you cross it, you can never come back.
Let's do it. Oh man, come on, what are we doing up here? Checking things out. Come on, let's go, let's rock and roll. Tell me everything you heard. I already did. Tell me again. Look, Young brings the stuff he makes here up Hollywood down there, okay? He cuts guards and workers all over the place. What about the inside? It's like a factory. Lots of workers. A speedboat comes out of this big ship and picks him up, takes Young wherever he wants to go. That's how he got out of the country last time the cops tried to bust him. I'll wait till night. You stay at the hotel. If I don't make it out... You will. Yeah. If I don't, you get a hold of my dad, Captain Sanders. You'll be safe with him. When you get him, kill for Kim. Kill for me. Believe it still works. The boat should be here by now. We should go outside. Hey, you! Break time, guys.
<laughs> Not to worry. We are prepared. than a speeding bullet. Try it, Superman. I want you to try it. Come on. Come on! <laughs> I'm glad you dropped by. I was hoping we would have a chance to say goodbye. Thanks for extending the courtesy. <laughs> Brains. This way, Kai. This way.
Duh. 